The dust of patch 729 has finally settled, and what everyone seems to universally agree on is that battle users, which should be most heroes nowadays, are having the time of their life. Collect battle, collect runes, infinite sustain. One important change, however, was the removal of Tango sharing to the mid laner. What this ends up leading to is mid laners buying their own set of Tangos to survive until the battle arrives. However, Tango sharing has not been entirely removed, simply adjusted. While the shared Tango functions the same as before, it will be automatically removed 40 seconds after sharing, if not consumed. Therefore, the first thing you should do in a game is ask your support to toss you one Tango, but only around the minute zero timer, and ideally straight after bounties, as players return to their lanes. What this ends up accomplishing is it still gives you sustain to survive until battle, but frees up 90 gold to make that battle arrive faster. As for the remaining items, it gets a bit more tricky. Ideally, you'd still want to go up in stats to make your laning moves more impactful. However, it must not hinder your ability to deliver yourself battle before minute 2. Therefore, after guesstimating how much trading you will have to do in the lane, buy as much stat components as you can while making sure the remaining gold and the gold you will acquire from the first two waves will be enough to cover the battle cost. For example, in this game versus Alchemist as Storm, I am not expecting any heavy harassment, therefore I know I will not need to send myself extra regen. That gold will go towards stats and I should still be able to easily reach 2 minute battle timer. Against someone like Shadowfriend though, I am fully aware I will eat raises for breakfast, lunch and dinner and have some leftovers for the next day. Therefore, extra tangos and a salve is usually necessary. If I had to buy that and stats too, I know I wouldn't meet the battle timer. Therefore, I would grab tango plus salve plus two branches right from the start, ship the bottle and collect stats later. Versus a sap who doesn't deal any right click damage on the earlier levels, this should be a decent strategy. And just like that, with every matchup, we can decide on how much gold we allocate for items and how much we leave for battle. Afterwards, it is laning as usual, collecting missing items and refilling our perfectly timed battle with the ruins every minute or two. And this concludes today's topic. I will leave you with the rest of the match. Thank you for watching. Good luck. Stupendous! Dyer's middle tower is under attack! Looks like Radiant closed the blast doors. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Warning! Bounty! 
Where's the party? Oh, what I missed! Let the fun be over here now! Here I am! Here I am! Oh! oh yeah. <laughs> Middle Tower uh -oh. is under attack! I can't breathe! Never had a chance. Radiant's Middle Tower is under attack! Touché! Ha <laughs> Now over here! Radiant structures are fortified! Over here now! Touche! Dyer's middle tower is under attack! Radiant's middle tower is under attack! Double kill! Ha -ha! Radiant's middle tower is under attack! Now over here. Radiant's middle tower Killing is under spree. attack! Triple kill! Blow the man down! Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fireproof. Dominating. Oh -ho! Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Ha -ha! Over here now. Here I am. Safe word. I've been 
presenting this. Dazzle. Dazzle. <laughs> Middle tower is under attack. Oh, what I miss? Killing spree. <laughs> under attack. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Mega kill. Mega kill. Dyer's courier has been slain. Unstoppable double kill. Blow the man down. I'm staging a comeback! Where's the blood? I think it's six! Triple kill! Blown away! Radiant's middle tower has fallen! Zap! Oh, what I miss! Zap! Yeah. 
middle tower is under attack. Killing double kill. Dominating. Double kill. Kill. Dire victory! <laughs> 